Good morning. This morning I'm going to have a look at um, a few examples. There's an example that was given uh, in the study guide um, called Subjectivity 14.H.I which reflects on a while statement and a do while loop statement. So I want to have a look at uh, the brief, uh, brief examples of both and see the different outputs that we get from both. So at the moment I've used the subactivity 14.h.i which is the standard while loop and I've labeled it while loop. Um, you can see here I've got a, a variable named c of data type int and I realize that the um, the test on the while loop is saying that while c is less than or equal to 10 so I created my own little c out comment saying enter value less than or equal to 10 and then the I've used the c to uh, accept the variable that um, the integer variable that the user is going to enter and then what will happen is after it's accepted that it will execute the while loop the same amount of times as what the users entered. If you have a look at our while loop over here um, you'll see it saying while the variable c is less than or equal to 10. What they don't mention here uh, in this testing phase is that c has to be initialized before entering the while loop. So that's a rule number one to try and remember. Um, the difference between a for loop and a while loop, you can see here this for int i equals 1. We're basically declaring the variable i with data type int and we're setting the starting point as 1. Okay. Now with this, we're basically saying we've got our declaration uh, uh, c variable of data type int and we initializing it by the user entering a value okay so that's all, uh, why the c is still initialized uh, outside of the while statement and before the while is even started then you'll see it's coming out with the um, console output line and it'll tell you however many lines c is at that time and then the other difference with the while loop is that you have to increment the um, the variable that's being tested inside of the while loop. Whereas if you have a look here, um, our for loops uh, contain all of that information in the one line. And there's our incrementer on the, the third um, declaration over here. Okay. So that basically tallies up to that. All right. So if we execute this code, depending on what value we enter for our um, our C, we should see that many number of lines being repeated. So I'm going to enter five for this one, and you can see here it's got line five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So that's what we should be expecting. Um, if C wasn't initialized through this input and we try to execute the while C, you would see it should give you some errors because C has to be initialized to something. But as, uh, as you've seen in the past, um, even just declaring it uh, in the compiler, it'll assign it a random number. Um, so I'll ignore that part. Okay, so that covers the while loop part of it. Okay, now this is the do while loop part, and what you can notice uh, that's different in this uh, between the two. Uh, let me see if I can bring them next to each other. Uh, do that. No, it doesn't allow. Okay, is that you're basically replacing the the while statement with a do over here and you're moving that while statement to the end so when I was looking through the study guide it says that the problem with the do uh, statement is that 
it will execute these uh, these commands here and then only uh, test this while statement afterwards so they call it a post test and a pretest okay now this is the pretest and this is the post test okay but everything that is here is basically over here except we've added this word do in it okay so let's execute this and assign 5 as our um, starting point and let's see what uh, output we get okay I might have um, doesn't say I need to declare anything afterwards so I wonder why just want to try putting a semicolon because I know normally let me just actually have a look at the errors uh, let me just try semicolon start okay I'm getting my screen so that was what was missing okay so now we've got enter a value less than or equal to 10 so we'll put in our 5 and there you can see that it still gives us the exact same result the only difference is that the while statement was executed on the post and not on the pre alright so as you can see there shouldn't be any difference although when I read through the study guide it says that they will not always tally up to be the same but as you can see in this instance it is okay so what I've done is um, taken question 3.2 of the COS 15.11 exam paper October November 2015 okay and I've copied the four uh, statement here okay and I've pasted it in my code blocks and I want to execute it so that we can see what results are being displayed with regards to um, okay, just having a look at what is going on um, yeah okay it doesn't like us set W just hold on for me. 